Hey everybody, how's it going? Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development. Helping you amplify your mechanics and growing your pitching knowledge. You're going to do this by hitting the subscribe button. Tonight we are doing pitching drills that you can do anywhere and anytime. At home or if you're at a park or a museum or wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. You can do these drills. You don't really need any equipment on these, even though I'm gonna bring some equipment in. The first drill I wanna give you is uh, working from the load point when you're drawing up your lead leg here and more of a, a front posturing balance drill. The load point here when we're uh, working on our, our lead leg lift, for me, the better you can statically posture or control your posture, it's going to be a better control in the direction of your pitch or the direction of sure leading your body out. How we train that simply is building up the hip, hip flexor strength by drawing up your knee. Uh, something important to know about is try to keep your posture as you're doing this leg lift drill when you're here. Uh, for me, I try to arch my back just a little bit and keep my chin just over my abdominals uh, as such. And you'll come back down. Once you get through that, I'm going to give you a little bit of tweak on that. Let me get into the box here. So we're going to train this in multi-planes here with using three cones. So the way you'll start this is just do a build up from cone one. Give yourself three, four, five seconds, bring it back down. Once you get better with that, then we're gonna do a back step here. Go to cone one over here, come back up to cone two, go back out to cone three. For the training the front load piece, uh, your, your front leg and your, your hip flexor, it's a good movement drill. It'll help you keep your posture uh, and, and your balance just a little bit better. For number two on our pitching drills that you can do anywhere, I like to do a toe tap build up, which really syncs the rhythm of the movements in time and direction. So usually I'll start uh, slightly outside of my hip width and my foot stance. Bring your hands together load up bring it back out to brake line and tap up for me i try to elevate through the elbows off of my brake line another important uh, feature on this is working on breaking your thumbs down and staying on top of the ball as you're drawing up uh, into your shoulder separation here and then just working on the timing and rhythm as you go out simple tap here and if you want to get a little more creative you can start back work up back out and tap just to have a little more of an added element to that drill on the third drill uh, that you can do anywhere uh, we're going to do a finish holds with uh, with a hop so it'll be a little more dynamic and on these drills what we're working on is the finish aspect to your pitch here and lead leg stabilization and blocking as you're going forward through your pitch. So we wanna build up a good base of strength uh, from the left hip flexor as well as the uh, right hip flexor when we're trying to lead out uh, into our pitch. So on these ones here, you can just simply bring it down, trying to bring the ball down to your toe, something like that, bring it back up and just tap it through here. And then as you get a little bit more advanced or you feel a little stronger on your left hip, um, you'll do a hop through it. So it'll come up, Pop up, balance, come down through. Pop up, stabilize, come down through. You're gonna feel that when you do that hop, it's gonna make you a little bit wobbly, a little bit shaky, but it's really gonna work on building up good balance and strength on the left side of your hip for right-handed guys and right side for left-handed guys. Okay, uh, last one, drills you can do anywhere. Uh, as long as you have a wall, this one's going to work. And in terms of working direction to home plate, back hip hinge, quad strength, and glute strength, um, staying a little bit stronger. So you're going to go to do what I call the single leg wall sit here. You don't have to get down at a 90 degree or anything like that. You want to find where you're comfortable in your positioning. Again, you're going to put the lumbar spine against the wall here and keep your shoulders just off the wall. From this point, you're going to work to drive the hip out and forward. And you'll, you'll feel that direction pull off of that. And you'll also feel the drive uh, line, your drive angle, uh, working from the quad uh, better 
than maybe you would leaking the knee down when you're pitching. So this drill here, come out, drop. The other thing as you get through this, uh, the wall acts as a barrier from uh, directional leap from uh, our left side using this wall for me as a right-handed pitcher, but from the left side pull and it keeps me uh, on the course of direction and where I want the ball to go. So those are four, five drills that you can do at home, anywhere, uh, again, at a museum, uh, wherever you might be. For more pitching tip drills, exercise and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until I shoot the next video, I'll see you next time.